Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pet Talk Podcast. My name is Tim Wheaton. I'm the office manager here at Alicia Pet Care Center. And today we're going to bring in our very own Dr. Dewey to talk about acupuncture in the world of veterinary medicine in general, as well as here within our animal hospital. We've seen some amazing results with the pets that she's been treating with it. So we wanted to give her a little bit of time to describe what it can do for your pet. And uh, so you may have a little bit more understanding or even be able to know, is this something that's right for my pet or not? So let's get right to the episode with Dr. Dewey. We are now here with Dr. Dewey, who is going to discuss pet acupuncture with us. Am I correct in saying that i haven't seen you i don't think i've seen you do any on cats yet have you i have done i've done i think two cats okay so pet acupuncture what led you into acupuncture and what uh, that all entailed uh what more you have to do and then we'll talk about all of the treatment uses for it etc Okay, so um, I did, I went to China. Um, I went to Guangzhou, China and got, um, and took a course um, and got training in acupuncture. Um, And I have been doing it here ever since. What my interest sparked in acupuncture when my dog became paralyzed in his hind end, he had a disc issue and he had the surgery. And afterwards he was still able to feel his legs, but there wasn't much to do. Um, medication wise, we did everything we could. Um, so we went and tried to do acupuncture to see if it would work. And it did. And my dog got up and started walking again. Um, so, and then I've personally went and had acupuncture for just some neck pain and it worked amazing. So that. Um, led me to kind of get into acupuncture as I think it's a great modality that we can use in pets um, with medication or pets that medicate, they're not responding to medication. Um, And I think we have, since I've started doing acupuncture, see some incredible things with it. Um, So I'm just going to talk a little bit about acupuncture for people who aren't really familiar with it. It's used to promote balance in the body's total energy system and ability to heal. So in all animals, there's this precise location on or near the surface of the body, and those are called acupuncture points. These points, when they're stimulated, will send information to the spinal cord and the brain. This ends up starting a huge cascade of events, events, which in turn brings pain relief, increased blood flow to the area, increased function of organs and tissues, um, which ends up speeding um, the healing process. So um, the use of acupuncture has been shown to provide generalized oxygenation and increased blood flow to specific areas of treatment. It releases the internal production of endorphins, which is the body's natural painkiller. It can be used as the only method of choice, or it may be combined with other treatment modalities such as laser therapy, herbal or nutritional support and other medications. Um, so we can, and most of the time we do combine Eastern and Western medicine together to get the best results. So most animals, they exhibit maybe a, some, every animal responds to it a little different. Some animals um, after an acupuncture treatment, about 24 to 48 hours after they may exhibit no immediate change or may become very sleepy or on the other end of the spectrum may be very hyperactive due to the sudden changes in the energy flows within their body. It's kind of a the similar feeling when you get a deep tissue massage. So there are some conditions for which a single acupuncture treatment is all that's required. Most of the time we don't see that. It usually takes a couple treatments spread out over weeks, sometimes even months, to reserve some of the chronic conditions. Most treatments we ask the clients to, the client to be willing to commit to minimum of three acupuncture treatments in order to give a chance for the improvement to be seen. As the animal responds to the treatment, the length of time that the treatment remains effective is noted. The intervals become longer, you know, or possibly the treatment is no longer necessary after a couple times. But during the acupuncture appointment um, or treatment itself, most animals exhibit little or no pain or discomfort. 
most of our patients will just lie down um, during the treatment. Some of them just lie on their owner's laps, take a nap. And the treatment itself may last 10 seconds to 30 minutes. An average treatment is usually about 15 minutes. Veterinary acupuncture is a great, um, you know, addition for many conditions, including arthritis, disc disease, post-surgical pain, hip dysplasia, even anxiety. We've done um, some acupuncture on a couple of dogs for anxiety, and we have seen improvement. So um, it's something that it's pretty harmless. Most pets tolerate it well, and it's something that we don't have to give you know, we can use with medication, but in some dogs that can't tolerate medication that have other issues like liver or kidney issues and their body won't tolerate a medication, it's something that's very natural that we do see um, really good results with. So I, I think I brought up this one patient that's one that I always remember and think about with regards to the acupuncture treatments, which was a dog who came in basically paralyzed kind of like what you were talking about with your own dog and got the first treatment and the next day was just like you said walking um, much better came back the next day I believe for its follow-up the next day and I mean it was ridiculous seeing the difference and the change and I know we have two dogs who come in very regularly I think maybe once a week or something who I see and the difference in them, even during the treatment, I think I remember seeing them the first couple of times and they would just kind of lay there very docile uh, while the needles, is that what you call them? Needles? Yeah. Okay. While the needles were in them. And now, now they're just like so used to it and there is, uh, this sounds dumb, but there literally is such a different spring in their step than when they used to be here. And is there... Something that you are seeing as your normal course with some of these pets as to a, is there a, a light at the end of the tunnel for them? I mean, is that even something to say or is it completely so much different on each case? It's very different in each case. Some pets we have come in that have just like a disc issue um, that like the one that you were talking about came in for a disc issue. Um, they didn't want to do surgery. We put them on multiple courses of high steroids, muscle relaxers, pain meds. Um, you could barely touch the dog because he was so painful. And then we did an acupuncture the first session and you were able to actually pick the dog up without it screaming. And then it started walking a little better. Um, and with that case, we did I think about three weeks of acupuncture. Um, the first week we did three acupuncture sessions the first week to the second week and maybe one or two the third week. And then the dog, we kind of plateaued on what we could do with acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And it had maybe a little bit of lameness in one of the legs, but it was walking again where it wasn't walking when it initially came in. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't in any pain at all. And then that pain or that pet didn't need any acupuncture after that. As we kind of balance the body, we helped with the pain relief, decrease some inflammation in the area, and um, the pet's been doing great and walking and doesn't need any follow-up, whereas some other conditions that are really chronic, like chronic arthritis, um, I see more regularly. Um, depending on how bad it is. Is it just in the hips? Is it in the elbows? Also, um, we need more follow-ups to, to get that long-term result. Right. And have, what is the percentage of the pets that have come in that are receiving acupuncture that are getting it for pain or some kind of skeletal issue as opposed to, have you been doing any that are for, uh, internal organ issues or anything like that yet? So um, what I've just been doing is more of skeletal issues, mm -hmm. more of pain. So relieving pain and inflammation um, other than doing a couple for anxiety, which some pets, they're so anxious that they they get more anxious just coming into the hospital. Right. So we end up not continuing treatment because we're making it more anxious by just coming into the hospital mm -hmm. um, and other pets that do fine in the hospital. So we have seen improvement on um, anxiety with them. Acupuncture is treats all different things. It can treat renal issues, respiratory issues, GI issues. Um, I haven't started really delving into doing acupuncture on those pet those pets quite yet because you know as I get more experience, as I start to see more improvement with the pain and stuff, then we'll kind of expand a little more. Cool. So if you 
feel that your pet is uh, in need of any kind of acupuncture treatment, make sure that you bring that up when you call our office and they will get you in touch with Dr. Dewey and see what is the correct line of treatment for your pet. Is there anything that we left out that I'm kind of pushing you out the door, but you need to kind of add on to this? I don't, um, I don't think so. Usually the first appointment time wise does take an hour because I go through everything with you and your whole pet in general, um, so that you understand what's going on. You know, most of the time I do the acupuncture in the room with you if you're okay with watching. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the follow up appointments are pretty quick. Come in, we do the acupuncture appointment and you're out. So it's not huge time wise. Um, you don't have to take a bunch of time out of your day to, to continue to follow up with the acupuncture appointments. So sometimes the appointment time slot for me would be about 15 minutes so I can talk to you. I can put the points in. Um, but most of the time it's between 15 or 20 minutes that we leave the needles in. Mm, okay. Um, so, you know, it, some pets, it's three minutes, depending on how severe and how they're reacting. Um, we start with a lower time, lower, you know, the minimal amount of points um, for the new pets that um, we're still getting used to it because we want you to see results, but we don't want them to go home and just be totally lethargic or totally hyperactive. So we kind of want to slowly get them into it. So sometimes follow up might be a uh, five minute you know, leave the points in for five minutes and um, the next one will be 10 minutes and we kind of work up to it. Okay. And I'm going to ask my very ignorant question. And I always see you going in with a pre-packaged pack of needles and it might be seven if I'm saying that correct, there's I think it's five seven. in okay. each package. Okay. Um, there's different sizes depending on your pet. Um, they're all sterile. None of them are reused. Okay. And is every pet getting a five or 10 needle or is everything kind of different? Everything is different. Issue? Sometimes I open a pack and they're all, there's a pack of five, but each one is individually um, sterilized and they have like a little cover on it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I might use a whole pack of five. Other times I only use three out of the pack. Other times I use 10. So it really depends um, because they're each individually sterilized. We don't have to use the entire pack or. Okay. Or I, we don't have to say, well, it might be an extra charge because we have to open another pack. It doesn't work that way. Right. Okay. I just wasn't sure if there's like a set number you're using for every pet for every issue, but mm -hmm. it, it kind of changes on how many different points you need to hit with them, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Again, uh, thank you for coming in and thank you for telling us a little bit more about acupuncture. And uh, for those of you who do bring your pet in for acupuncture, I'm sure you will get a ton more information during your um, visit and visits with Dr. Dewey, but thank you for coming in. Thank you. All right. Okay, I hope that brought a lot of great information to all of you that are curious about acupuncture for your pet. Whether you're thinking about scheduling an appointment for acupuncture or you were just looking for more information about that integrative holistic service, we are very proud to have numerous doctors in our hospital that have been educated in this Eastern medicine to offer many more options of treatment for your fur babies. Thank you for listening to Pet Talk Podcast brought to you by Alicia Pet Care Center with our Dr. Dewey here. Again, I am Tim Whedon. I'm the office manager of the hospital. And if you'd like to come find us on social media, you can find us as APCC Vet on all social media platforms. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, and our very popular TikTok feed as well. We're on YouTube and Facebook, uh, soon to be Meta, as Alicia Pet Care Center. Our hospital website is www.mypetsdoctor.com. And if you want to find our podcast, we are at www.pettalkpodcast.com. If you want to find all of our old episodes, as well as transcripts from those episodes, the podcast can also be found on Twitter and Instagram at Pet Talk Podcast. To find and listen to all of our podcast episodes, we're on your Apple Podcasts app. And if you happen to be an Android user or another device, we are on Stitcher Radio. If you haven't yet subscribed and reviewed us, feel free to go over to iTunes and find the podcast there and rate and review us. We'd love to see that. Thanks again for listening, and we wish all of your pets all of the love and good health.